Hi, welcome back to our second half of our online story time about birds. First thing I want to teach you is the sign for birds. You use your thumb and your pointer finger and you pinch them together like this, like you're tweeting. Bird, bird, you put it in front of your face but you can see it sideways, bird. I have two rhymes and songs about birds. First one is, Two little birdies sitting on a hill, one named Jack, one named Jill. Fly away, Jack, fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack, come back, Jill. Two little birdies flying in the sky, one named Low, one named Holly. Fly away, Low, fly away, Holly. Come back, Low. Come back high. Two little birdies sitting on a pole. One name fast, one name slow. Fly away fast, fly away slow. Come back fast, come back slow. Two little birdies sitting on a gate. One named early, one named late. Fly away early, fly away late. Fly away late. Come back early. Come back late. Come back late. Come back. Here I am. You know I'm always late. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. I have a little song about one of them. I'm a little birdie. Cute and fat. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I eat worms. I don't like cats. When I see a cat come out to play, I spread my wings and fly away. Yes, I hate cats. I have a craft of making a baby robin. A fat little bouncy baby robin like in our story when he tries to fly. It's very simple. There's a template for the shape of the bird, a template for the wings, the circle, the beak, and I use googly eyes but you can draw your own. And the template for the mouth is a diamond and I put a piece of yarn in there for a worm. Also I use pipe cleaner feet that are very easy to fold and make but on my template, I have easier paper feet you can make. So your child can have a bouncy baby birdie trying to learn to fly. And the templates will be on the website. We have some coloring pages as usual. The uh, baby birds in the nest and a whole sheet of all different birds that you might see in the spring. A robin coloring sheet. And last but not least, a papa bird with his baby together on the branch. As usual, we have a lot of links because this is a fun time to go out with your children in nature walks and see birds. And so we have tips about birding from the Audubon Society. And then we actually have the online guide from Audubon for uh, about bird identification, including their calls. And the Cornell Ornithology Lab also has, if you can't find the bird or you don't know what the bird is, it's an identification and you can identify just mainly even just through the bird calls. We have a link about different birds nest if you find some on your walk, but in the springtime especially, don't disturb them, just look, not touch. And the last link is to make different types of bird feeders for the birds. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed our story time about robins and birds.